nasty time. <laughs> All right, we're back under the car. Now we're upgrading the fuel system before we put the 331 in. I have just been running this little poly pump there and just a little inline pump and it's been working all right, but I'm gonna switch all of this rubber hose out and uh, I got a, a Summit. Let's see if we get in there here. I got a Summit pump we're gonna put in there and I'm just gonna do all uh, braided line with AN fittings and it should look real nice under there. So I'm gonna get this taken up We'll get that uh, fuel pump mounted in there and convert these steel lines over to uh, Braided with some compression fittings. So let's get to work All right, so I got the steel line cut this one is the 5 16 I just cut the hose bar bend off of that because that just had a rubber hose going to it before and then this is the return line. I'm not gonna be using that, so I'm just gonna cap it off for now in case I end up running one later. Um, what I'm gonna do is use this hard line to AN adapter, that's uh, six AN, and that way I can just run my AN, uh, my braided hose to the new fuel pump and it should be super easy to hook up. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I made sure I cleaned up all the paint and any sort of rust or anything that was on that steel line. So I got a good tight fit on the uh, compression fitting there. Now I'll just be able to put a 90 degree fitting here so I can hook up my braided hose to my fuel pump and we should be good to go. All right, so we got the fuel pump mounted. We got our braided line all installed with our fittings to the hard line. Um, I used a weather pack connector for the power and ground. So that should be nice and safe there. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Um, I turned it on for a little while, got it all primed, make sure I didn't have any leaks or anything like that. It was uh, surprisingly quiet. The last Holly Blue pump I had was really noisy, and this one seems to be a little bit quieter than that, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'll take it to the front of the car and show you what we did with the fuel pressure regulator and stuff up there. All right, so there you can see we got the 516's hard line going into the dash six braided line and then that goes underneath I put my fuel pressure regulator right there and then just a little short piece of braided line to some uh, aluminum 3 8 that I bent to kind of sneak around there so I didn't have to try and fish a bunch of uh, you know braided hose through there it just looks a lot cleaner I think and that just goes into the fuel log there and so I think it turned out really good I'm really happy with the way that it looks and how everything's working right now so it'll be nice just to be able to to drop that new engine in and not have to worry about troubleshooting any of this stuff so I think it's gonna be real easy just to swap over to the new engine so uh, stay tuned for that thanks for following along on this one and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching